Okay guys, so I had a bit of a busy day yesterday. Um, I had to go for my COF. Whoops, I was just pushing that up a bit. I had to go for my COF yesterday and for the first time in probably the last three or four, I failed, <laughs> which kind of threw me a little bit because I was getting used to just going through, you know, and it was quite nice and yeah. So it was quite a funny situation really because I ran into an old problem too and that has to do with um, the way my air over hydraulic brakes work excuse the traffic noise here where I'm parked um, they yeah they the testing station want the two gauges the two needles to work independently when they drop the pressure and this truck can't do that and I have a workshop diagram out of the workshop manual but I show them and say, now look, if we do that, I'm not going to have a handbrake. It's not possible and it yeah, only has one treadle valve. So yeah, it can't do that. But anyway, the guy wouldn't listen to me. I was okay. I mean, he failed me on a wheel bearing too, which fine. If it's dead, it's dead. It needs to be done. I don't argue that one, but I'm going to argue the one about the fact that my truck was designed a certain way by the manufacturer and it does everything it's meant to do the brakes work well the air comes up when it's as fast as it's supposed to um, so changing the manufacturer's design <laughs> isn't going to happen and this has happened to me in the past oh there's a fruit truck going past I'm in the kiwi fruit capital um, this has happened to me in the past in Pukekohe to the extent where I actually had to email head office after talking to three mechanics at the workshop there, um, looking through the diagrams, checking all the check valves. Um, it just can't be done without building another entire system under there to add to the one that's already there. And, and that's just ridiculous. So. Anyway, um, I went to see my regular mechanics here in Tauranga, um, RWR Motors, they've always been really good to me. And the guy who owns it, he's going to give VTNZ a call about that one, so I hope that gets sorted. <laughs> Okay, so we're sitting here at my mechanics waiting to hear whether they've found a bearing for the truck or not. Um, might have to come from Australia, so we'll see what happens. But anyway, I've tried to take this pussycat out on her lead for a walk, but she thought that was just completely terrifying. So she's back inside, but not very impressed with staying at a mechanics. She's... um rather fed up already <laughs> and it's only been half a day so it shall be interesting but she's a trooper she'll handle it so anyway they've said if it has to come from Australia um, they might put the old one back in so I can go away for a few days and come back so here's hoping <laughs> Well, wow, I finally managed to get my COF. <laughs> it's been a bit of a mission. It was, yeah, quite exhausting really because I still have to work online. So I'm trying to juggle my schedule with mechanics and testing stations and all of that jazz. But I got through it and I'm really pleased to be parked up somewhere beautiful now to just focus on work for a bit and do that. So yeah, my bearing had to come from um Australia so that's why the whole thing took so long but now the truck has a sticker again yay <laughs> COF for the next six months 
and things are looking good so I'm going to decide where I'm going to travel to next but in the meantime I feel I just need to sort of just catch my breath a little bit because yeah you kind of I work during the week online so it's been a little bit challenging you know like one day I did two days worth of work so that I could go to the mechanics the next day and things like that it's been a little bit um, topsy-turvy so I'm quite pleased to be back in a more sane and sensible routine but I'm also just so grateful that I get to do this that I get to travel and work and do what I love you know I certainly don't take that for granted it's taken a lot of work but it also just brings me so much joy and as I travel around I meet more and more people who I've worked with face to face which is also awesome so it's been really neat I spent a couple of days at the beach and now I'm parked up in one of my favorite little hidey holes 